All right, everybody. So I'm back at it again today. Um, I'm going to be re-soldering this guy because the more I felt when I was done with this one, I was able to get through the hole pretty well and have a nice solid physical connection. This one not. So I'm going to desolder that. I'm going to splay out the wire a bit and then I'm going to try and re-solder it a bit better so that I have what I feel is a little bit more consistent connection there. So we'll start with that today. Temporarily taking it off of there for a second so I can see what I'm doing here a little bit better. Okay, so now I have a fold over, physical connection. That should last a little bit better because I'm folding it physically over. And for whatever reason, this is not wanting to hold on to my amp very well today. So I'm going to try and adjust this a little bit. There we go. That's better. All right. So now, as I mentioned, these are the seven volts. We don't care about those. Um, this one. I believe this is my center tap that will connect to ground as well. And this will be my high voltage. So, I will want to do a better job of soldering those, I think. I can see that they're not that well soldered. trim that a little bit. One of the problems I'm facing, I'm going to stop recording, is this lamp is just in my way. So I'm going to remove that lamp. I don't need it. It's blocking me. So I'm going to stop for a minute. All right, I'm back. Um, I apparently forgot to start recording again. But um, I just need to find my solderless connections because I'm going to put one on this guy as well. Uh, I don't know where I set them though. Let's see if I can find them. I rounded up a few things and basically now I've, I've drilled a quick hole through the chassis put it right there I've gotten myself a the I've got my ground there my earth and I will also get the center tap ground of both of these so this is the center tap of the um, heaters and this is the center tap of the power transformer I'm just trying to get those both through that pretty clearly and then once I've got that I will solder those in and then what I'm gonna do before I do much of anything else after that is I'm gonna turn the power on and check to make sure I'm getting good uh, voltages that I would expect out of each of these things now that they're hooked up correctly. So, uh, just gotta get that guy in there. I like to get it nice and fluxed because these are a little bit old and a little crusty, so that gives it a little bit better chance to clear away the oxidation and bond well. So. from this side.
Alright, about to wet the joint. It looks like it finally is. So I've got my heater center tapped and my um, transformer center tapped. So that means I should get some continuity, if not at least the, a good ohms reading, if I read it from either end of those. So if I put that on right now on center, let's try. Okay, so I got good continuity through there. I don't have a fuse in this guy. We'll have to add that. Um, all right, we're going to pause for a bit. I'm going to double check that my things all look right there, but that is all hooked up. Uh, what I'm going to effectively do right now is I'm just going to make sure that I can get uh, a good reading between each of these windings to ground and vice versa. So I'll check. Well, actually, we can do it right now. I just don't know why it's being a bit weird. These are the two heater wires, and that was one of those was the ground for it, and I should be getting... It's open, which doesn't make sense. But if I were to connect to this, I get 0.3 ohms. All right. Well, that's a good sign. So what I'm trying to test here is I want to effectively, this assumption I'm making right now is I just connected both sides of this transformer, which should not be shorted, here and here. Um, I'll do here. So I've got continuity there, like I'd expect. But I should also get continuity to chassis if that is the center tap like I think it is. So I'm going to go double check I guess and look and see if it is the center tap like I'm thinking. I could have sworn the high voltage oh the high voltage is yellow and yellow with green yeah so the yellow and yellow and green I read the, those before and got readings but I'm getting open right now Well, that might mean that there's something wrong with my transformer. We'll see. But I, it doesn't make sense because I measured before I connected them. All right, I'm going to stop recording for a little bit until I can figure out what's going on here. All right, I was just doing a boneheaded move. I had to stop and think things through for a minute. So effectively, what I wanted to measure was continuity through the yellow lines, which are going to the rectifier from here. And we don't have continuity, but we have very low resistance. It's probably not, vis it's not visible, but on you know, one side I've got 88 ohms, and to the other side I've got... 94 ohms, so and that, that's the standard. Okay, so what I want to do now, I need to get a fuse, look and see what kind of a fuse I want here on this one. Uh, I think it needs to be probably a two amp slow blow, but I don't know if it says it on the layout or schematic specifically. But I shall peek, and then I'll pull one of those out, put it in, and we will be able to do a quick voltage test. All right, for a second, we're going to turn the fan off. 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this guy in and I have the power switch off but I will confirm that I'm getting no sparks or smoke. Nothing. All right. So we're going to put one hand out and away from the amp. We're going to go to volts DC AC and see if we've got AC volts on here. We shouldn't, but we should have them here. Yep. We've got 120 volts there. Um, so I shouldn't have anything until I flip that switch and send power down and I've got a fuse in. So that should hopefully now give me 120 there. Okay. Well, and I have something backwards because my black wires right now are showing 133 volts AC right here. And that's supposed to be up here. I thought. 153 volts. Oh no, that's 360 volts. That's really weird. 134 volts. 92 volts. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So, 92 volts on the blue. 369 on the yellow. 132 volts on black. Um, that's definitely weird. So I'm going to shut this back off because I don't know if I like that at all. Because I'm sending it through, I'll have to double check, it's possible I'm hooking something up to the wrong side for the primary. So that's why I'm getting such weird voltages on the other side of the transformer. It's almost like I'm put, putting it in backwards. Um, so I will take a look at that and I'll come back to you in a bit. Okay, well, um, oops, there went my light. Uh, I did find out what the problem was and it turns out this transformer is toast. So I'm going to be pulling it out. I actually, after we got done, with the last little bit of video, I did decide to do a little bit of checking. And what ended up happening is once I played with a little bit and turned things on and off, it ended up uh, blowing the circuit breaker in my house. It was drawing so much current. So the reason I was getting voltages all over the place is that some somewhere or another, the insulation on these transformer windings had broken loose and they were jumping across, arcing to each other. But then at some point they just boom, melted down. So I'm gonna take this guy out. I've ordered a new transformer, sadly, that this this hoped uh, 6v6 build off of this transformer or this this whole thing that I had, the only thing that I may get out of are the tubes. So, because it looks like I, that, that output transformer looked really shot. The power transformer I thought would work, it didn't. So we're going to go ahead and pull that all out really quickly. I'll show you that. And uh, then I'll get a new tra power transformer in and we'll continue from there. While I'm waiting for the power transformer, I'll likely at least wire my heaters from the one side over to these tubes so that the tubes have got the heater wi heaters wired in and whatnot. And we'll go from there.